Fashion Week <laughs> in Paris. In Paris. This is so embarrassing. I can't. That makes me a little nervous. <sighs> yep. Very that. Wait, what? That's, let's cheers to. It's the best week of the year. Again, I feel like every time it comes around like faster and faster. I've already been having so much fun, especially with like all of this stuff leading up to fashion week. Um, also, there's like a protest or a rally or something happening like right outside. So if you hear screaming and yelling, that's what it is. I was trying to like figure out what they were like yelling about, but I have no idea. Anyways, I'm just touching up my curls right now, having some oatmeal and we're gonna have a great week. First day of fashion week. And now with Princess Aurora, aka Kate Bartlett. And the rock star And like I can't even compare you to anything, just to feel the court. And now we just fucked up some steak and Kate had some hey, I'm fish. So, I'm so so hungry. Are you I'm full. That I'm fish, like, I'm that full. That fish was getting really healthy and I was not looking for really healthy. Maybe they'll have some finger food at Kokaya. Like, I don't know. Oh, now we gotta go home and do a quick change. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I literally have not even a singular clue how to talk to a boy and there's <laughs> He, he asked her something simple, like, and she was like, should I say sick? And no! <laughs> no! Like, this rat, like, this no, is like, not a boy that's, like, a potential prospect. Like, this is, like, funny a games. rat. Like, just, like, uh, this is embarrassing. Like, really embarrassing. Though? This is so embarrassing. I can't. <laughs> Look how cute these strawberries are. This is our pregame of the night after Alison Olivia. Well, I went home and changed and now we're just kind of going out. There was a party. I was not invited, <laughs> um, unfortunately, <laughs> but- I did not know why I was invited. Sophia went to the party. Now we're here, of course, because I literally live here. But look how fucking- This morning I called Sophia and she ate one of these. And it's all I've been thinking about all day because look how yummy they look. Taste test. Gosh, happy Valentine's Day. morning sun is so bright in here in the morning so holy shit today we have bronx and banco and it's at the ritz oh my god i'm so excited first of all i love the ritz and second of all it's like 10 minutes away i could literally walk there um so i'm not stressed about time <laughs> This is this is like the first official invitation I've ever received like for any kind of show like they like personally delivered this to me. We're going to open it together. Gross is like reflecting. Oh my gosh, it like has my like seat number on it. This is crazy. Brandon Maxwell fall 2023. I'm gonna frame this. This is literally like I'm gonna keep this forever. Holy shit. This is crazy. Like every fashion week, I feel like it gets like crazier. Like it definitely gets like less surreal since I have now done it before. But like anytime I show up somewhere, I still get like butterflies, which is like crazy. And I think I said in my last fashion week vlog that I never want like to not be like giddy and like excited about this kind of stuff because I mean like this is literally all I've wanted like for my entire life and I never want it to become like routine I guess I'm just so so lucky and so grateful for you guys especially because there's really not much else that I can ask for there's like really not I mean I have goals and aspirations but I mean if if I plateaued right here I would be chilling anyways so Bernie Maxwell is at 10 in the morning, that makes me a little nervous, but I've already set alarms on my iPad and on my computer on two separate alarm clock apps. So, oh, and then tomorrow we have Love Shack Fancy and like, Love Shack Fancy, I just love, I just love them. I love, I love them so much. I love their whole team and y'all have definitely seen me post their stuff before and they always just do like the most extravagant 
everything so right this is the outfit <laughs> it's so good it's so good oh my god it's a vintage blazer i am so excited for this i love you guys back it was amazing it was on like the quicker side but the show was beautiful and it was really close by to my house which is nice there was lots of really beautiful tailoring and like sparkles incorporated into everything but now we're getting ready for love shack fancy and this is my dress this is love shack fancy they've really started branching out like within the past few months or year like i don't really know but they have definitely started branching out like a little bit more edgy like victorian ish stuff because like when I was in high school and people were wearing Love Shack Fancy, it was pretty much just all pink flowers, poofy, everything, which is not my style at all. So like I was never a Love Shack girl. I am a Love Shack girl. Like I am. This is stunning. I have really no idea at all what I'm gonna wear under it. Like it's not just like lace, like it's like, it's like completely see-through. So we're gonna see about that. <laughs> Valentine's Day dates. Guys, this restaurant, they're giving us like, they like, <laughs> they're giving us like a lot of like complimentary things. Cheers. 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 Um, POV, Hannah trying seafood. Oh my God, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Look at this. I'm gonna throw up. I'll eat the cucumber. Thank you for doing your part. I actually like it a lot. Okay, good. I, I want to like seafood so bad because that's all they serve at all of these events. Anyways, we didn't order this, but Sophia's like a regular here, and he said that he's gonna make our Valentine's Day very special. So it's the last day. It's the home stretch before we <laughs> not the mashed, not the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes the oh, shit! Is it not yours? Big yikes! Big yikes! Um, we're at the home stretch, guys. Oh, last night. This is the last night. And then, um, literally in four days, we have to fly. Not have to. We get to fly to Milan and then Paris, and it's gonna be amazing. And I'm actually gonna vlog. I do too. I have a good time. I I, I have a good feeling because I think we're just gonna have like a fucking blast in Europe. I think that's what, that's what the vibe's gonna be. I just not yeah, let's cheers to cheese boards, cute outfits, and all that. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> I can't even be mad because that was so funny and I'm so glad I got it on video. <laughs> Cheers! Um, they have a big Vogue. Vogue. Power and throw. We're making it through. I'm done. I thought that was going to be way cooler. But we're in the lawn. And we just got to our new home and it's amazing. It's so much better than last year. I'm going to be completely honest. We were like mad depressed last time we were in Milan because like it was like our first time and like we didn't really know what we were doing. And that's why there was no vlog. There was footage, but there, there was no vlog because we literally needed antidepressants. So... <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're at. This is where we're at. Um, we have like a whole living room and everything. I think we're pretending like this is a five-star Big Okay, no, 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 no but, but it is. Compared to last year, compared to last year, this is really, really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna insert footage right here of us in this exact moment last year. Of us arriving to our hotel, like bloodshot eyes, like so puffy and dehydrated. We were pretending to be excited. We were so we, I remember I pulled out the camera and I was like, okay. Hi guys! <laughs> but we are 
in Milan. This is, I guess, the f official first beginning of this vlog because I didn't film anything else, but... So I'm so excited. We're going to have, like, the best... Like, we actually, like, are both, like, genuinely really ready for this trip. We also made it, like, shorter, less stressful, and it was planned out way better. Took an Emirates flight here. Economy. <laughs> <laughs> for, like, how much was the flight? It was like under $200. We have like a nice bedroom situation so we can like separate ourselves when needed. I simply do not know how. This is insane. She just keeps pulling bags out and all she brought is a carry-on and this checked bag. And she called me whenever we were packing and I was like, what shoes are you bringing just so that like we don't bring like two of the same thing. And this I'm not even exaggerating. Three, three pairs of boots. Golden Gooses, another pair of sneakers, two pairs of loafers. This is not accounting for heels. She packed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight purses. Four of which are like relatively big, like considerable tote bags. My thing is how did it all fit? Because I brought three. And one that? of them is like my Princess Polly black bag that it was in my backpack. That I'm throwing away. And I brought two pairs of shoes. I'm planning on buying shoes here because I've, I've been wanting a new pair of black heels. But like I didn't even have room for other shoes. Like I'm just like confused where all this, it's like a Mary Poppins, look at her. <laughs> it's literally a Mary Poppins bag. Like I'm assuming that there can't be that many clothes in there. There can't There's be. There's not. That's fucking crazy because these are filled to the brim. Except I did make room for a... Uh, and a spare duffel bag so that I could bring home my purchases. Just got ready the fastest literally ever in my entire life because we are going to... It took us an hour. A little <laughs> event. <laughs> it, what do you mean? That's like quick for me. I know I look feral right now. I know I do, but I have, there's no lights in here. Zendaya just fucking liked my reel. It has 13K likes. One of them is her. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit, I'm freaking out. Good morning. I would just like to say, not only did Kate bring about a hundred bags and pairs of shoes. Oh, a whole entire water flosser was also in that bag. That's, that's kind of fucking wild. All right, I'm getting ready for a little cocktail party with Michael Kors, but here's the thing about this entire trip. The last time we did Milan in Paris, I think we went into it with expectations of it being similar to New York Fashion Week, which was not the case. <laughs> and we just didn't do as much in terms of like Fashion Week in comparison to New York Fashion Week. Cause they're like two completely different worlds. So basically we just kind of ended up disappointed because like that's what we were mainly focused on. And we just ended up like kind of disappointed in ourselves for not doing more. And that's why like the vlog never got posted. This summer on we decided that we're just looking at it as a vacation and we're gonna just like have as much fun as we can. And it also just happens to be fashion week because like already we just like, we do not have like a lot of work stuff to do. I, I hate calling it work, but yeah, I really just wanna enjoy myself honestly and not feel bad about myself for not going to the Dior show. Like no, Hannah, you're not gonna like, no. One day, one day. That will happen. Okay, almost ready to go. I'm actually meeting Kate there because she had a meeting with somebody else before, but I'm just wearing this. It's actually really cute. It's from Soroya and it's like fitted all the way down. And then with my diesel jacket, that literally elevates anything, but oh my God, these motion sensor lights are really stressing me out. But this diesel jacket like literally elevates anything I wear. I love it so much. Best investment piece ever. Um, stole Kate's boots. I actually think it's raining. I might need to call a car. Fashion week? <laughs> Just my little coffee and little Milan. Little tiny Milan. Cheers. It looks like Gizmo. <laughs> Where are we gonna? Our class serving. Whoa. POV. Ooh, you did not 
they didn't mind the show, but you pretended to be Kate's assistant and they let your ass in. They let me in and I'm definitely sitting in somebody's seat but we're going to see what happens. <laughs> actually was an after party to this thing <laughs> however this happens to be more important cheerleader at heart g3 fca to it when i tell you being delusional freaking works i mean it literally yesterday kate was going to this show and i was trying to get an invite and like no one was answering so kate's like just come with me and like try whatever and i'm like nervous like i don't want to like go all the way out there and then then be like get, what no like you're obviously not coming in so we're on our way and i start thinking what would sophia do because sophia is she has the best mindset in the entire world i'm like what would sophia do sophia would look at me dead in the eyes and say there's nothing we can't do what are they gonna say no they're what are, like so like they're like first of all they're not gonna say no second of all if they say no, like, what's the big deal? So we go, we walk up to the front, Kate's trying to get in, and he's like, oh, let me see your ticket to Kate. And he looks at me, he asks for mine. And I was like, uh, I'm with her. And he's like, all right, <laughs> let's just sit. And then it gets even better because we go to find our seats and I'm fully planning on like standing because I didn't have an assigned seat. So I'm sitting in the seat behind Kate. Kate has a front row seat and some guy with a clipboard comes up and is like, did you want a front row seat? To me. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like fine right here, but yeah, if you want to give me one. And he's like, okay, come with me. Gives me a front row seat. We watch the show. Basically moral of the story is that there's nothing any of us can do. We're in the right place. We're in the right place, really just do. wait. What did I say? Y'all know I'm about to pick it up. Look cool, what we did. Look cool, what we got. If you follow me on TikTok, which most of you probably do, um, you know that I've, I'm in a massive dilemma right now because I'm trying to decide if I want this bag this lady pulled out. I literally walked in there and we were like looking around. I knew I wanted these shoes and I was like, do you have this black bag with the rhinestone, um, like the, val the V, the Valentino? And she was like, oh no, we're sold out of that. And I was like, well, I really like this bag, but like, I really only want a black bag. But the thing is, I'm looking for an everyday bag. So I thought the minimal sparkle would be okay for an everyday bag. Then she pulls out this. And if you know me, which all of you guys do, I like folded in half. I almost didn't even want to know the price and like, I almost was like just run the card. That would be extremely irresponsible though. Told me the price that quickly changed my mind, but I'm also now still thinking about it. So I guess we'll see what happens. Cause I could also get it in Paris. We're going to Paris tomorrow. So I don't know. Pre dinner snack. The chips are a nice touch. They brought us out a whole meal and we're still going to go to dinner. Oh yeah. Next destination. This is actually the first pasta that we're having. I'm excited. A little, little tomato. I, I, I can't even explain myself. I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> I'm playing soccer. Well. This is why we can't go out to dinner ever in New York. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, get into it, raincoat. So good. The raincoat and the butterscotch. And Paris, and Paris. Let's go. We're oh, right wait, oh my god. Ah, I have my vlog down. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel every single time. Look at this. Loki, the donuts are the they donuts are giving. So good. So good. No wonder Bella Hadid likes them. And these little things, like, are you kidding me? Just finished at the Dior Museum. 
for the third time <laughs> but it was actually like <clears throat> really nice because it forced me to pay attention because usually whenever I go to museums I'm like interested and then not interested and then I'm just like oh, let's leave and then we like speed through it it was very cool and our tour guide was adorable she was like really getting into it oh my god the Eiffel Tower look wait why can't you see it there she is there she is anyways it's a full day of Dior also look at my scarf it's so cute um we have a dinner tonight that's it for today and then tomorrow I think it's just gonna be like a shopping day Kate has a show in the morning. Actually, it's at night. It's at 8 Or it's at night. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> yep. Oh, Very that. Very that. This motherfucker dragged us all the way to the Ritz Paris. <laughs> We're supposed to be at the Ritz New York. <laughs> I am so dead. Wait, okay, so what should we do? Go do home? You, what do you want to do? Like, I don't know. There's like a million people outside, like, waiting for Kylie Jenner to walk out. And we're just like... <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that is a giving Santa Claus. I've been wanting a red coat for a very long time. So I'm thinking I might. Is it giving Santa Claus? Oh, it's cool. I know. I've been wanting a red coat since I saw one the last time in Paris. It's like this is a nice shade of red. Oh my god, Girlies are girly. What? We're both vlogging. What did you say? Vlogception. That was such a good uh, play on words. That was, I'm proud of you. Hey. Um. Anyways, oh. hold on. Enjante, mademoiselle. <laughs> Tell me where that's from. And if you know where it's from, I'm going to be really impressed. I don't know where it's from. Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> 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 on that note... We're out, and we're both wearing black. Look how disgusting our room is. <laughs> <laughs> Train station? No. Submarine? Yes. <laughs> they really went all out. Like, all out. It's our last day in Paris. And this vlog, I don't, I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on with mine either. We are just doing some vintage shopping and then we're gonna go to hang out with our friends. We're leaving Paris today. We're trying to find a, somewhere to get a little snacky and a chocolate croissant because I haven't had one yet. Holy shit, I look like a boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 Anyways, we have enjoyed our time and back to New York we go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the chaos of this vlog. I'm really sorry that like it kind of sucked. I feel like I say that a lot, but I'm excited to start vlogging more of like my actual life. Like I feel like this is like, like this is my actual life, but it's like my fake life. Like it's not like, I have a double life. Like I have my life where like, where, like I've been laying here for like literally all day. But then I do like stuff like this and it looks like, oh my God, she does so much cool stuff. But like, I really don't on like a regular basis. Although my next vlog, holy shit, I'm so excited. I know it's gonna be so good. I'm going snowboarding again. And if you saw my snowboarding videos on TikTok, you know it's about to be like, I'm so excited to vlog this trip. Um, I'm going with Henry and I told, I I was like randomly with, not randomly with Sophia, I'm with Sophia like every day. Um, but you guys wouldn't know that because I don't vlog my daily life. Anyways, I was like, I'm going to Colorado with Henry, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my God, it'd be so fun if you came. And she was like, should I? And I was like, do you want to go to Colorado? Cause like a lot of people would be like, like a lot of people wouldn't want to do that. Like me and my brother. She was like, hell yeah. So Sophia's gonna come with us and it's it's just gonna be good it's gonna be so good anyways i had so much fun the footage is just like meh and like that's my fault but i love you guys and i will see you in the next one uh -huh.